All right, now in this video, we're going to create some creases in this image, almost the kind that you would get uh, if you've ever opened up a road map that's been folded up. You see you've got those creases that go along in like a grid sort of fashion, and it kind of distorts the uh, what you're looking at. And we're going to create that on this image here. And the first thing I need to do to do that is I'm going to create a new layer. And I'm also going to bring up my rulers so I can see them. Go under View, down to Rulers. And I'm going to place some guides on this document that will be the base of where each fold occurs inside uh, this area here. And I'm not going to, I'm not, I'm just going to drag, grab from inside the ruler here and just drag a guide out. And I'm not placing them in any particular place. Just kind of randomly placing, almost as if you were actually folding something. It's not really precise. Right about like that. I'm making sure we're on our new empty doc or new layer. I'm going to grab my marquee tool here. I'm just going to drag a selection, and if you get once you get close to the guide, it'll actually snap to it. And you can make sure of that by simply going to Snap to Guides. Make sure that's checked. Then I'm going to get my gradient tool, making sure we're going from a white to transparent. Then I'm just going to kind of start. If I start right here, right on the edge here, it's going to give me a 100% at the bottom. I just simply want to get a little bit of hint of a gradient here, so I'm going to start a little bit beneath the selection and just kind of drag it in just like that. And there you can see, just like that. Then, I'm going to draw a selection on the bottom. Again, it will snap to that edge there. This time I'm going to use a black with that gradient tool, starting above it just a little ways, dragging a gradient inside just like that. Then I will deselect. Now I'm going to take that marquee tool and select this inner box on the top here. Just going to take that gradient tool, once again drawing with black to transparent, just going in from the side here, coming in from that outside area. That's a bit much. Let's undo that, try it again there. And we'll come in from this side as well. And simply deselect, Command or Control D. And I'm just going to select this square here, we'll use that same black to transparent gradient, and we'll draw in from this side, doing just like that. And we will do the same right over here. Let's draw in a gradient. That's a bit much. Let's do it just like that. Now, I'm going to select this lower box right here. And just like we did up here, we brought in black from each side. We're going to do the same thing, but with white. Coming in from that outside area, just drag in a little bit. So we're getting a subtle hint of that white there. And then deselect. I'm going to go ahead and turn off my guides since I don't really need them right now. I don't want to clear them, but I just want to get them out of my view. So I'll just turn them off. And there you can start to see that the folds are starting to take shape, or, but we're not quite there yet. So what I'm going to do, actually, is create a new layer right beneath this new one here. Hold down the Command key, and it will create a new layer beneath your currently active layer, just, just like that. I'm going to bring up my Fill dialog, Shift-Delete, or Shift-Backspace, and fill this with 50% gray. I'm going to go back to this gradient layer here, and I'm going to apply a, uh, just a slight blur. I'm going to blur, Gaussian blur. Do like a, a one pixel blur. It will actually work pretty good. That's no, okay. Now, I need to save this as I see it as a displacement map. So I'm simply going to go under File to Save As. And we'll get this big dialog here. Let's go ahead and Make sure we're on the desktop here. I'm going to call this disp1. And we'll save it to the desktop. And I'm going to save it as a copy. And turn off layers so it'll save it as a flattened copy as a PSD document. And we'll just hit save, which replace my old one there. Now, with that saved, I no longer need this gray layer here. And I'm going to go ahead and merge. I'm actually going to duplicate this, because you never know when you might meet it again. I'm just going to turn that one off. This copy right here, I'm actually going to merge it with that background image by pressing Command or Control E. So that is now it's an on its own layer. I'm going to double click that background layer to create a, a transparent layer of itself. Now I'm simply going to Filter to Distort. And we'll go to Displace. Now we're not going to give it a tremendous amount of displacement here, because it's going to really distort it. If, and if I go any higher than 3 or 4, in fact, 3 is probably where I'm going to leave this at. And you'll see why in just a minute. So, and obviously this will depend, if you have a much larger resolution file, this number will, of course, increase, uh, depending on the amount of distortion you want it to have. 
But for my purposes here, I'm going to leave it at 3. And we'll hit OK. And we'll get this open dialog. We'll go and find that displacement map we just created right there. We'll click Open. And there you can see, not only has it distorted it, but because we combined those shaded areas, it's actually given me kind of like really folded creases within those folds. You see this? If I zoom in here. It's giving me some really interesting effect here, like almost like it's an actual fold there. You can see some distortion right in here, and that looks pretty good. And now, because that's on its own layer, I'm going to bring up my free transform, uh, Command or Control T, and simply scale this in a little bit. I'm holding down the Shift and Alt, or Shift Option, scale this into the center just a little bit. With it still active uh, as a in transform mode, I'm going to hold down my control key or simply right click on it, go up here and go to warp, and just simply kind of push these edges in a little bit, give it a little bit more distortion, like it's an actual you know folded up piece of paper, and I'll just press enter, and I will create a new document beneath this active one, holding down the command key, clicking on the new layer, and I'll just fill that with black. And there you pretty much have it. Really cool folding paper effect. Now if I wanted to do it, enhance it a little bit more, if I go into that, onto that map image, I could go to Filter to Liquify. We'll bring up this giant window here. Let's scale this in just a little bit. Now I can't view, get you the whole view of the window, but you can see what I'm doing here. If I'm going to select this um, Move tool right here and keep my brush pressure really low, about 25, I can just push these edges in here where the folds are kind of going down just to give it a little bit more depth. Like it's really kind of folding in, pushing in a little bit. And let's hit OK. You can see those edges if I undo it. You can see right, at, right around in here if I undo that. You can see it just gives it makes it a little bit more believable as a folded piece of paper. So there you have it. Applying fold creases to practically any image.